GED with some EBTs and some EBDs, that shit was sad. She reeled me in with some chicken wings and some collard greens, that shit was brack. Just cracked me a new bitch, bust a new nut on a nigga's jersey. My bitch got off at 9 o'clock, so I had to shake around 7.30. Yo, 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 it's your boy Willie Ways, a.k.a. The Voice of VA, and it's about that time, man. It's about that time for another review. I hope y'all been enjoying all of this new music that's been coming out this summer, man. We've been getting a lot uh, damn it. There's been a lot of dope releases on, the, on all fronts, underground and mainstream. We've been getting a lot of dope shit, so I hope y'all been paying attention and enjoying it, because it don't always be like this. Nevertheless, we got another offering from the West Coast this time, man. We got the new J-Rock Redemption album, you know what I mean? As we all know, Nipsey Hussle done pretty much planted his flag in terms of album of the year contending, and... Maybe TDE got something to say about it. So without further ado, fuck all the bullshit. Let's get into it. Come on, man. Y'all niggas already know what's about to go down. What them beats sounding like, though? To be honest, the beats on here was cool, but nothing spectacular. Most of them sound like that typical TDE filler song bounce. Groovy as a motherfucker, but forgettable. They're a mix of West Coast rider music, trappy club bangers, and a few progressive Kendrick-esque type joints. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, bro. There are no bad beats on this joint. It's just that there's nothing that made me want to immediately listen to it again when I first heard it. Hey, it's definitely some music for the whip, though. Can't front on that at all. This is that bass all the way up type music. But the slight variety in production really doesn't complement each other or make the album any more effective. In fact, it makes the album sound a little unfocused. All in all, these beats aren't too different from what J-Rock has done before. It's just that they're uneventful. If you want to hear what the perfect J-Rock production sounds like, check out his previous album, 90059. That joint crank. And next, we got the songs. The lyrics on here are typical J-Rock, just a little less impressive. He's never been a top-notch lyricist, but he can paint a nice picture and he always been gangsta and hella clever. To be honest, I would say that he's a better and more charismatic MC than Nipsey, but Nipsey has mastered his formula and he just doesn't take as many risks as J-Rock. In general, J-Rock is an aggressive MC with semi-frequent showings of above-average lyricism. His flow is still hella sharp and adds purpose to whatever he's saying. On this effort, he just sounds less enthusiastic. There's definitely a few quotables on this joint, and there's definitely a lot of insight in his lyrics. It's like he has a newfound sense of self. In light of recent events that have happened in his life, these lyrics are for those who done been through shit in the streets, bruh. And in life, period. Instances where people show their true colors, and now you forced to deal with shit by yourself. When it comes to the songs, them joints is solid. They're a lot more anthemic than J-Rock's last few albums. Which kinda hurts the album, especially cause his hooks were a little on the lackadaisical side. His past two albums were a little more on the creative and cinematic side. And I can't lie, taking the cinematic aspect out of the music really fucks it up for me. The cinematic and conceptual element has always been TDE's sound. And it's what separated them from everybody else. Well, this time he traded in his movie pass for a motherfucking party pass. Because most of the joints on here are litty as fuck. Another thing, though. I'm not really a fan of the track list order. Like, check out track two, Worth It. How you gonna have something slow and, and emo and Drake sound and come after the bloodiest? In the beginning of the album. That kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Pause. And after that, I kind of knew that these niggas was gonna be on some other shit. For real, for real, this joint might have even been doper as an EP. This album actually has an official mixtape Gangsta Grills type of sound. Not to mention the features on here really don't do much for the album either. SZA being the best appearance on this joint. Other than her, you got Jeremiah with one of his weakest hooks in recent memory. You got J. Cole with his typical mediocre sweet nothings. And then you got Future on The King's Dead, which is like... Bloody daddy daddy, slime on me now. Yeah, definitely one of the worst and most unnecessary features of all time. And lastly, there's Kendrick, who insists on using this Kevin Hart. No, he wasn't ready. Flow. Shout outs to the guy Sunez, man, because he definitely came up with that concept, man, and it perfectly describes his rapping style lately. And next, 
the concepts. There are a few decent concept joints on here. The songs that are more conceptual are based on, well, redemption and everything that comes before and after that shit. The, when it comes to West Coast gangster shit, you never really needed concepts to get the job done. So this has more than enough for real. <laughs> after that, replay value. The replay value on this joint is decent enough, and that's because it's definitely a nice album to ride to, and it doesn't stray too far away from that vibe. Songs on here are simple and catchy, and the beats are current and got bumped. That makes this a decent workout playlist as well. In synopsis, Redemption is a solid album that doesn't hurt his legacy, but might have been a step back in terms of his catalog's progression. This is his third album, so it's no sophomore jinx, but it definitely can be considered a junior year injury, which is ironic because this album was recorded before and after his recovery from a motorcycle accident. So maybe this album has been just as necessary for him as physical therapy. That's why I can't wait to see what he comes with next album. My fave five are The Bloodiest, For What It's Worth, Broke, Redemption, and Win. And with all that shit being said, man, I get this joint 7.5. Out of 10. Yeah, man, it's your boy Willie Ways, and I appreciate y'all fucking with me and tuning in, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the review. Can't wait to do another one for y'all. Make sure y'all hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell icon so you can get the notifications on when we drop that new shit. And make sure you follow the Facebook page and our Instagram page. Lumi Lifestyle, the number one hip-hop channel for the realness.